Hello everyone, I am going to record a quick video to talk about the sequencer on the Modal Argon 8. Um, and I've zoomed in a bit so you can see this section over here is where they have the uh, arpeggiator and the sequencer kind of integrated. And I'm going to show you a little bit about both of those. And also, um, it might be hard to see on my screen, but I'm going to try to explain how to load, uh, save a sequence, and how to link them. So the first thing about the sequencer is that you have an arpeggiator, which kind of overlaps with that. Um, if you hold down the arpeggiator, you can basically play Now I'm not that may have not sounded cool, but here's the thing. With the arpeggiator on, now when I hold a note, it'll play that. And then you can change the rate. We'll go faster, try to get the sixteenths. Okay, something like that. And then you can mess with, you know, actually that one's not. There you go. Something like that. But anyway, um, so that's the arpeggiator. When you get to the sequencer, um, you can do, you can record notes into the sequencer, which is different than the arpeggiator. Um, but you can also use the arpeggiator at the same time. Um, you can also use the chord and the arpeggiator and the sequencer at the same time. The chord is not saved uh, currently in this OS version one, uh, but um, they all work together. So let's do something, um, let me think for a second how I'm gonna show this. So I'm gonna just hit play, and what's gonna happen is it's probably gonna play some notes and some sequences. I haven't loaded up this patch before, so let's find out. Okay. So you can hear that there's already some notes and also some um, sequencing going on of parameters, not just notes. Now, I'm going to clear the notes. So one of the things you can do is just hold this last button and you say it says sequencer notes cleared. So now if I hold a note, it's playing my ARP and you can hear how his parameters changing as well. I haven't done anything, but now what I'm going to do is I'm going to clear those. So notice the sequencer is still running. Uh, if you hold the shift key, uh, you can hold down the first one and it's going to clear animation lane one. The next one is lane two, lane three, and lane four. So that clears all of them. And now I'm going to play it again and see if we hear any different, any difference. I still hear some changes in there, but I think that's just part of the patch. So um, I'm not going to get, I'm going to actually do follow-up videos to show a lot more on getting into the sequencer. I really want to focus on the, the how do you save and load them. Well, the thing is, you, you've, you've heard what this one does um, with my arpeggiator. Now if I hold a note, I turn the arpeggiator off. So now it's, nothing's happening, right? And if I hit play on the sequencer, you're also not hearing anything. So now let's actually load up a sequence. And how do you do that? Well, you've got this patch loaded. And what you do is if you just hit shift and then you tap the patch key, you'll see it says load sequence. Um, I have one that I did in here, um, but I'll load up a different one. There's, um, let's do this rock focus sequence. And then if you just, you just click it just like you would uh, with a patch. And then now it's loaded. And then now, actually when I hit play, sorry. Oh, that's one thing. This is an interesting thing that happens to me. When you're in shift, I do this all the time. I'm in shift, I see this, and then I always press play. And it doesn't do anything until you come out of shift. So that is something uh, I've run into. So you'll hear, now it's playing a sequence. Um, let's pick a different one while it's playing and load it up. I think this will work. Yep. So whoa, that's doing some crazy stuff. Try another one. Okay, I don't hear much on that one. And I guess nothing on that one. Oh, wait. Okay, that one's designed to be played with the searing lead. So that one's probably linked. So let me stop this. All right, so what I'm going to do now is, so that's how you load sequences. And it's, it's actually, you know, just by hitting shift patch, it works exactly like, um, like patches. If you hit the patch button, you know how that works. Learn that first. And then if you hit shift patch, then you can basically load any sequence. Now, if you want to save a sequence, so I had some ones here that are initialized. So let's see, this one's 
init sequence. So I'm going to load this up, and it shouldn't have anything when I play. See, I just did that thing I just said. All right, so now I'm playing that. Okay, not hearing anything, which is good because we're going to record some notes. So I'm going to hit record, get the uh, metronome playing, and let's just put something in, just anything. Okay, so now I hit play. Now we'll get that beautiful sequence that I just played. And then let's say we want to save that. So let's go ahead and stop that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to save that. Again, shift patch, and then now I'm in the sequence menu. And what you can do is, this is a knit sequence one, you just tap the save button, you know, just like it works for a patch. So this is sequence number nine. Um, and then you say, okay, I'm good with that. Click in the button and then give it a name. So I'm going to give it, uh, I'm just going to call it A for now to be quick and then confirm it. So it says sequence 09A is saved and that's it. So now uh, I can switch patches. So now I'm going to not use the shift key, hit patch, and then I'm going to load up something else. Like let's load up this base. And then now um, let me load up a sequence on top of this base. So I'll do shift patch, load my sequence A, and then now I'm going to play it. Okay, so that was the patch I played. So now uh, the last thing I'm going to show is how to leak, link a sequence. So let's say that anytime I load up, let me pick one of my patches. So I'm going to go to, um, one quick thing is when you use the shift key with, um, so if I go to patch, this is how you load patches. If you, if you hit the shift key and turn the wheel, it'll go up and down by 100, which is very nice. So you can jump in closer to... Um, the init patches. I'll just use patch 350 just to just to show this. So I'm on patch 350 and the thing that you do is, you know, if I edit it, I could save it. Oh, let me load it, sorry. Good thing I caught that. Let me do it a little louder. So let me change this to be something that's got some. All right, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna link, link that sequence that we have loaded. So what you do is you just um, go to the patch menu Click in here and you go into the settings of this and you can see the last thing on the menu. I think it's the very last thing says linked sequence. Okay. And so now what you can do is you can see the tops is off and you can, you can navigate up there and pick, um, actually that's interesting. I thought you could pick the sequence. I guess you can't. Let me try that again. So let me go down here learning as I do this. I, I've only done it one way. I go here and then I know that, that my patch is let I hold down this button and you'll see at the top, it just popped in and said, oh, I'm gonna load up the loaded sequence. And then now that you have this here, now you can just save the patch. So if you tap uh, save, now you're in patch save. So I'm gonna go ahead and save this patch. I'm gonna give it a name of, I don't know, B. I'll clean it up later. Okay, so now that's saved. What does that mean? Well. What it means is that if I load up a different patch, sorry, this is getting a little bit long, but if I load up a different patch, uh, let me go back to, I don't know, anything. I'll just load up this, okay? Just to hear it's something different, okay? And now when I hit play, it's playing that. But let me go to one of the delivered, I gotta over, I kinda wanna load up one that has a patch, or I'm sorry, a sequence. There you go. No, that's still mine. All right, well then, <laughs> okay, I'll just manually load up a sequence. This is getting kind of crazy. All right, so again, how do you load a sequence? Well, you tap shift key, go to patch. Here's my sequence. Let's load up um, this warm digipad one. So we load up this. Now, when I hit play, just want you to hear. Okay, different, okay, different. And I'm going to stop, and then now I'm going to go to track uh, my patch, which was, um, I think it was 350 was what we did last time. So let me see, find that, 350. It should be called B, really clever name. There it is, L B. Okay, click in the stick to load it, and if this all works, I hope it does, uh, now I'm just going to play the sequence, and we should hear that little thing that I made. which is that's exactly what's playing. So I remember I made a square wave just to make so we could hear it and then I played that silly thing and that's it. That's how you do it. I uh, hope this helps someone and if it does, awesome. Uh, thanks a lot and uh, go get them. <laughs>